Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a better sandbox to your Gorilla Tech fan game. So I'm just going to not talk that much and just get into the video. Join the Discord in the description, go into tutorials and then click on this and then you'll see this unit package and then you put it in your game. Go to scripts and then you'll see sandbox and then create an empty called sandbox manager. Drag in the sandbox manager script and then spawn point create an empty and then just put it wherever you want, wherever you want all the prefabs for the sandbox to spawn. So I'm going to be there, go back in the sandbox manager and then drag in the spawn point. I'm going to put this to spawn point because just to make it a bit better. But of course this is needed. Now I'm going to get a button. You can just make a cube that has a string around but I want to get this button that I made. So I want this button to spawn a cube so I'm just going to put the text that says cube and I'm going to scale it down a bit so it fits. So now make sure there's a box collider with a string around on the actual button and then put in the sandbox sandbox button and also when you right click it you can test spawn the prefab but yeah so the sandbox button by the way this this script was made by me if credits aren't needed but if you want you can but anyways add the sandbox manager i'm in the prefab to spawn what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a cube <coughs> this can be like any any this can be like any model you want but as you can see just keep i'm going to drag that in as a prefab and then delete this so now i'm going to here put the thing to zero 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 and now it's here make sure there's a box slider that covers the exact whole thing if you want to make it a bit more precise you can but i'm just going to keep it like this make sure each trigger is off and the box collider is actually turned on the rigid body make sure it's automatic is off and then the collision detection is continuous now this bit is not needed but if you want to you can do this this is to make the object scrubbable add a component called xl grab interaction drag in this box collider and then drag in this box collider to colliders and then turn on use dynamic attach okay so now to finish the grabbing things you have to go into unit here the actual scene. Oh, by the way, I've got to say this. Make sure left and right control has a circle with its trigger and radius is 0.06. You have a tag called hang tag. You have a layer for left hand controller called left and a layer for right hand controller called right. But anyways, you're going to see your left hand and right hand controller. And then do this and then type in XR direct interactor. Ooh, and then you'll see this interaction manager. And then just create an empty called XR interaction. Uh, I have caps on but oh well so now I'm adding the XR um, interaction manager and then create an empty called spawnables and I'm just gonna like hide this over in here but drag in the cube and then put in the XR interaction manager and then basically make sure it's zero 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 again the spawnables don't have to be like any, can be anywhere but the um, cube's supposed to be zero zero zero. So you have to keep this in here for it to actually work when you grab it. And then go to your left and right hand, make sure the interaction manager is the exact same as this cube. Now on here, go to prefab to spawn and then click on the cube that's in here and then boom you're all set i'm pretty sure this has worked but if it doesn't i will post a new tutorial goodbye now and i hope you have a great day or night